Okay. Let me just open up my own stream. So we're all good. Okay, yeah. I think, uh, I think that is it. Okay. So we're back with, uh, Wow, you're here very quickly, Jigsaw. Welcome. How are you doing? Uh, also, what an entrance. Definitely uh, some words being said. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we have... I want to do a run and gun before we continue with the boss. You just got onto- oh, okay, okay, nice. How was your day? How was your weekend? Or your first day of the weekend is probably the best thing to say. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do fun fair first. Now, go. Oh no, but I wanted to also change my thing back to smoke dash. Because that's what I have to do. Smoke dash. There we go. Stayed up until like 5 a.m. What time did you wake up? Okay, I know I need to see the, or find the pink balloon. And then parry five times off of it. Nice. Because otherwise, I am actually think I messed up my other super. Had to cancel something because you're exhausted. Oh, unfortunate. What was it that you had to cancel? You're up. So we eventually get through this, and now we're just gonna have to use this trampoline. What's really annoying about the trampoline is the second you kind of get like desync from it, it's very annoying to like get back resync. Man, I almost did that perfectly, and then I just screwed myself there. And now we just have to dodge all the cannon stuff being sent out to me. Really? Come on, that was, like, good. I thought it was good, but I guess not. Before <laughs> What, um... How come you were feeling exhausted though? Just like, uh, you know, just... Or any reason in particular? Um... Or it was just like, oh, you just felt exhausted. Or I guess, okay, yeah, because of the 5 a.m. thing. Okay, I thought, I thought it was something else. Okay, my bad. I'm just, I just forget, because you say it up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I messed up the I need to make sure the balloon. What made you uh, stay up that long? Okay, I, I keep mixing up my questions. I think I've asked that, or I think I've not asked that yet. Really? What hit me there? There's this new channel you need to post custom clapper cards, and they are very interesting. So it's like they make their own cards. Drink like a monster and a Red Bull. Oh yeah, perfect time to drink those things right before you sleep. Yeah, they make their- wow, that's crazy! So they, like, actually go into the game and, like, make their stuff. They are way too strong. I mean, that's usually how it's, like, with custom, uh, stuff. Oh, I messed up there. Oh, wait, I have other things I could just parry off of here. Okay, I only have one, uh... HP left, so I go- oh, okay, the Magician, yeah, I, that, that's gonna appear there. Literal game-breaking stuff? Like what? What's an example? Okay, we need to wait for this trampoline to return.
Come back, please. Every time I just get hit by the balloon at the end here. I don't know how. Oh, do we... Moving princess towers. Ah, okay. I mean, it definitely seems fun. <laughs> okay, so now it's gonna be in the middle here. Man, that was so good until it wasn't. How do I always get hit by the easiest things? Okay, I gotta run past here with the invincibility. Now I gotta get through this... Pretzel. Oh, dodge this! This is uh, just annoying to deal with. Yeah, I've moved back. Or a spell that makes you instantly win. But I'm sure they look cool though. Yeah? So how does the, the spell that makes you instantly win, what does it that look like? Holy, that felt so clean. And oh, if I make it to the end, the balloons uh, don't spawn anymore. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, what's gonna be sent out first? Okay, the one on top, then the one in the middle, and then one below. Okay, that's easy. I, I dashed too early. It's a rocket. Oh, so it's literally like a rocket that goes and blows up, uh... Uh, things. Like, blows up the person's, um... I don't know exactly the... I don't know what exactly it's called, but like, their castle. Okay. No, what am I doing? Just dash through. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. We're making it closer to the end there. Hey, Dragon Fruit. It's like a ICBM missile jigsaw, <laughs> or is it a like they try to make it Clash Royale themed? Did you did you uh, continue with your drawing, Dragon Fruit? Doing good, doing good. Chill weekend so far. What about you? Oh, I messed up my balloon. I need to. No, it's literally a reskin. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks cool, and that's what matters. You have to on a different one? What's the, what's the other one? Or what's the other one that you're doing right now? Okay. That was just not good. Okay, come on, pink balloon. Really? I'm not taking damage. I, come on, I have to just not take damage in the balloon area. How am I just doing this? Oh, just an OC sheet for Max. Okay. What is a OC sheet? Like, what is the, uh, like, is, is that another drawing or is it like... I don't know, like a different type of thing. I was literally- I don't know if I remember- like, I don't know if I said anything. I was literally thinking to myself, that blue balloon looks so stupid. Like, I was thinking, why did they make that balloon look like that? And then all the balloons look like normal... Like, people, or like, whatever. Normal faces. Yeah, the tooth! I- I just- I don't get it. Okay, so I guess it's bottom, top, middle? Yeah. Oh. Even though I'm getting hit and I'm probably not gonna finish it, I would still like to just practice that whenever I can.
Okay, good. So far. No, I should have dashed again. That was close. It's like an intro for an OC, starting with a portrait. So what does it usually, like, have on it? So mad at the balloon. I mean, understandable, understandable. <laughs> Why'd you- <laughs> Why cotton candy? Do you have something against cotton candy in specific? Body portrait, a few facts, and the name. Okay. Look, why is it so easy for me to get it every other time, but the first one just screws me? Cotton candy is trashy. Understandable. I'm not a huge cotton candy fan myself. But I can't, but I, uh, I don't think I hate it. Like, if, uh, you know, I'm offered it, I don't think I'll turn it down. But I don't think, like, uh, I would choose it myself, personally. Yes, I despise that balloon. <laughs> oh no! I almost ran into the- what is that? It's like a gnome. Okay, where's it starting from? Middle. Middle top. And then I guess bottom. Okay. Really? I got hit like that? There's no way I got hit twice. Say the lat the cock there. You wanted me to say it? <laughs> I don't know why you wanted- I, I didn't- I didn't say it, not because like, I didn't want to or anything, it's because I literally did not see it as I was like looking- As I was like turning back to look at the game, I like saw it as the last thing there. Here we go! And I was like, oh, okay. You really, uh, you really roasted that balloon, you know? Maybe he has a loving wife. Has two kids, you know, just a nice family, and you really just went and roasted him. Don't know, just pure sugar? Okay. Oh, hello, Toast. How are you doing? Oh, that's gonna get hit. Okay, I'm just... I'm just dying! You're up. Ah, there was the pink balloon there. You're up. How's your day been, Toast? What if Sans was real? What if he was real? Like, what would you- what would you do about it if he was real? It's definitely an interesting question, but, uh, I don't really know about that. Hate this level? Yeah, I'm trying to do it in Pacifist, so it's even, uh, even worse. Okay, what's gonna come first? Bottom, and then... Okay, bottom, middle, top. How do I, like, I need to get that so perfectly. I'm gonna get hit there. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> yeah. Not, uh, nothing if Sans was real? Dang. If Sans was real, it would be, maybe the world would be a better place, you know? That's <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that is what I kind of have to do if I want to, um... Oh, uh... 200% the game, so... I have to force myself to do this stuff. And begin. There's a skeleton inside. That's pretty fun. I mean... To be honest, it would kind of freak me out as well, just not knowing. Um... Uh, like, just not knowing there was something inside of me like that, and then, he, like, just having someone 
Oh yeah, there's a skeleton inside of you. Like, that would traumatize me. Or maybe it wouldn't, I don't know, I don't remember how I was. But... At least that's how I think it would be. So it would be top... Top, bottom, middle, okay. Okay. Yeah, like, I can't- I keep dashing too early, but anytime I try to wait more, it, I end up hitting the cannon. So I don't know what to do. Okay. I got hit by the mustard, cool. No! I made it to the end and then I just- Okay, whatever, sure. John Potato. Oh, is that another catchphrase that you have? Okay, come on. Pink Balloon, please. Is it not gonna appear? I don't think it appears. I think I went too far. And begin! <laughs> no? Why not? Man, I couldn't get the parry off. Here goes. Because I what? I, so the reason why I have to restart, right, is because I have to um build up my build up my super, right? And the only way I can do it is by parrying, since I'm not going to be attacking anything. And the easiest way to do it is by parrying off of this pink balloon constantly. Because there is another thing later on, but it's not guaranteed to show up. But at the same time, I don't want to be getting hit. So it's really annoying when you have to like be running backwards to get uh, all the parry off, parries off and then there's more balloons appear. And begin. But... We'll do it eventually. At least I hope. Okay, but then sometimes I hit the ledge like that, and it really sucks. I don't, why is it the, the green balloon and the pink balloon look really similar? It's just a different color of both uh, that they have. And I guess uh, uh, different rubber as well, like the, the color of their material that they, that they're, that they have. Okay, so bottom, middle, top, okay. Bottom, middle. There we go, okay, I just have to jump a bit backward, or a bit before, and we're good. Oh yeah, I, and I got hit by the magician up there. So it didn't really matter, huh? And then I didn't dash there, so it didn't really matter. No, I swear I jumped there! Every time, it's just at the end. I mean, even when I did this before, I really hated the ending. The ending was the worst part for me, always. It took me so long to, like, get that. And now I'm gonna have to beat it. Uh, without hitting the hot dog. Is it better? I'm thinking. Is it better for me to go HP? I think it might be better for me to go HP. So what if I quit out and then went HP instead of uh, the smoke dash, right? Because if I'm going to be tanking things... Oh no, but I never I know I do need the smoke dash because I have to dash through certain areas. And I can only do that with the smoke dash. So never mind, I lied. It just was not, uh, not good. Go. No, the pink balloon gone. I have to wait for another one. Wait, 
twist there. Re I didn't get it there. I'm restarting this. This is so annoying. This, uh, like, trying to get it down with the trampoline. Okay. Is the balloon gonna show up here? No. I think what I- I have to not, um, show the edge of the circus. The second I show, like, the edge of the circus like that, it's, um... Or, like, the outside, I mean. The second I do that, I get, uh, it's just not, not good. There. There. Okay. Man. Alright, retry here again. Okay, one, two, three, four. There we go. Dude, the trampoline sucks so much. Here goes. Why does it like go to sleep right there? One, two, three, four, five. There. Okay, cool. Now I can just dash across. I can't. I can't with this. It's so bad. I really, really dislike this tramp. I'm not even gonna like wait for that to come back. It takes so long. Dumb blue balloon, true. Two, three, four. Look at it. <laughs> Get it flying through the sky. And then I just. There. It's on. <laughs> look how goopy he is when he smiles. I mean, look how happy he is, though, right? Some may say stupid. I say, look how happy he is. Just flying around, existing as a balloon. Come on, let's just wait. Man! You're up. I can't even get far because of this thing. I hate this. I really hate this. Why was I able to do this early on? I just can't now. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay! Okay, let's go! I did it without taking damage. Now, how far can we get? Because I don't think I'll even beat it, right? That's the thing. I haven't been here in so long. I can't, will I even be able to do it? I don't know. So top, middle, bottom. Top. There we go. Nice. And I can use my super cool. Of course, the ketchup appears, and why? I hate this. This thing sucks! It sucks so much, this last thing. I <laughs> God, I hope so. I really hate this last part. It is the worst thing. Okay, come on, I need to wait for the pink balloon. There she is. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I was able to do that for once. Okay, perfect HP, great. Middle, bottom, top, okay. Nice. I'm pretty sure, okay, as long as I get past the balloon part, I'm pretty sure I can consistently get through the rest without taking damage. I would say like maybe eight, like 80% of the time. No, I jumped into the relish or whatever it was. There's still one more pretzel. Huh, I don't know how I ducked for that, but I'll take it. There, okay, nice. <laughs> Yeah, and good thing I managed to have the extra HP. Because... Oh, please tell me I have enough time. I don't know, actually no, I don't need anything. I just have to not hit anything, right? And I think it should count. Please? Yeah, okay, good. Nice! And that is pacifist done for that stage. No running gun for now. We can go back to fighting Wally Warbles, the bird. Let's go! And now we're back here. This is where I'm more comfortable, I think. Just fighting the bosses. I'm not- when it comes to the platforming, that's just the, the worst thing. But bosses, it's like, hey, I can just do the same thing over and over. Relish? Yeah! I don't think I've had much relish in my life, but... I enjoy it when I have it. Usually I take it when I can. Usually I'm someone that uh, loads up their hot dogs, like, a lot. Uh, when I, you know, take them. Like, I like a lot of stuff on my hot dogs. You must relish the fact it's pretty good. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, me playing Toho before this actually just prepared me for this boss. Really, <laughs> you don't seem impressed with that at all, Dragon Fruit. Oh, it was. I should have walked backwards. Want to play? Which one? Which one are you planning to play again? Okay, you know, first try of the day. Third phase. I think I'll take that. Saki is so hard, yep. Did you ever finish Fair and Hunger? I can't remember if you did or not. Like, I, I can't remember, we're just speaking of hard games, I just remember... I just remembered that, I can't remember if you beat it fully or not. No, that's the first time I think I got hit by those, like... A great slam and then some. Baby birds. Yo, I just realized, this bird has fathered so many children. Unless they're like, not all his children. And, uh, for some reason, these j they're just a bunch of baby birds flying here. But, what's on be it though? Okay. But are- is it like, all the same ending, or are there like, multiple endings to it? <laughs> Definitely adopted? Yeah, true. It's a lot of, uh, kids to adopt, though. There's many? Okay. Here's a real high-class bout. Here goes! No, I wanted to parry that bird! Okay, 
I can parry that one at least. How, do you know how many endings there are? Okay, I should be able to get this bomb off. Nice. And that should take it to second phase. Good. No, I wanted to parry that one as well. remember with this many. Okay, understandable. Do I wait for... I think I'm gonna wait for the next phase. Oh wait, I need to get my... get coffee. I think that's the problem. I don't have coffee equipped as well. No, I just bonked myself on his mega mind head. Oh, I really got hit three times during this phase. The least, the phase with the least amount of HP. Oh wait, I have to, let me go equip coffee. Because having smoke dash doesn't really help here. Which one is it? Yeah, S. Have the appropriate counter. What's the counter? Good day for a swell battle. Now go. They have no idea. Just activated my trap call. Is that you right now? Hey, at least you're not, what is it, going against someone that you're mad at how bad they are. It is in fact a trap card, okay? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I just know the meme. <laughs> I just ran into the egg like that. I wasn't able to go down. Anytime I'm up above like that, I have to just swap to my rockets because it's just... It's not much damage increase, but it's something, you know? I think that hits. I hope that hits. I can't really tell. Something tells me it didn't. Oh, there's a thing there. I didn't realize. Oh, wait. Oh, like, if they have more cards on the field? Or just in general? And then you remove all the cards on the field, like, after? Or is it just, like, if you have more cards in general, or... I mean, if you control nothing, you can activate it right away? Oh, okay. On the field, okay. And what's your, uh, like, deck right now that you're- that you're going? Okay, I shouldn't be able to use this. How close is it to dead? I don't think close. No! Man, this phase is always the most stressful one. <laughs> I actually feel I can get through the first two fairly easily without getting hit. And maybe even the last one, if I like was able, was able to practice it more. But, uh... The problem is always the third phase. Control nothing on the field, rescue, you're gonna fuse it with something later. Okay. And how does it, uh, how does it get fused? Good day for us. Excuse me, playing cards for three minutes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you're just gonna use the card and then get, um... 
get rid of all of them that uh, they play. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, I just ran into that there. I'm gonna mix the deck list with something else, okay. Good day for a swell battle. Every time I say a boss is gonna be, like, easier than I thought it was- I mean, no, I did say this one was harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I still think- I feel this is gonna be easier than the Jimmy. But, every time I've said it, I said stuff so like, oh, it's gonna be easier than blank, I end up being completely wrong, so I don't know. Yeah, all you have to do is watch, it's a waste of time for them. That'd be pretty funny. Imagine setting up your turn the entire time and you just play one card. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that entire time is all gone now. So is there no time limit in the amount of time it takes to play for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Or can you, like, you know, spend infinite amount of time playing? Must be boring, so boring to play all the time. Maybe it could also be seen as satisfying, you know? It's like, oh, I play this and then this and this and this and this. So why is it taking so long? Is it just like... Play something and then draw something, basically? Also, I can't believe I got hit in the second phase. It's really sad. I really like that part of the song. Like it's like I'm pretty like I can't remember exactly what the is it the dance of the Val or the flight of the Valkyries or something like that, and then it like you know in integrates it into the uh, the thing, the song, or yeah into the actual regular song. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, wait, the bird shot another pill up to me. Here's a real high class bout. You're up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, Jigsaw, when you um, said earlier, like, oh, if I control nothing, I can activate it right away. <laughs> you sounded like surplus when you said that. Like, I don't know why, just the way you said it, <laughs> and like laugh at the end. <laughs> yeah. It's a very, like, it sounds really stupid, but it's also funny. The bird throwing up. The trash. This match will get red hot. I don't know, I, I'm now always so focused on dodging, I never see why, like, how its head even turns into, like, a trash can. This match will get red hot. Also, why does- is the bird growing out of a, uh, a birdhouse? Like, there's no way it's able to fly while a birdhouse is on us, right? Like, that- that doesn't make sense. You can't activate because your phone give you a card on your field. Oh, okay. You gave him a trash pill, obviously. Oh, true, true, yeah. I should be able to use that. Yeah, I perfectly timed it. The like... And... is always just... the easier thing to dodge. Oh, I was so focused on the birds, I didn't realize a feather was flying towards me like that. That's- yeah, where are the- like, now that- now that you mention it, Dragon Fruit, like... Or like... I know you didn't mean this explicitly, but it's like they gave him a dragon pill. What are they even using to treat him? Like, why Why can't it do that? Because like, it couldn't do it before, right? Like, he couldn't do uh, the transformations before, but now he can. 
after they decided to treat him. They really gave him some uh, interesting drugs there. Some medicinal herbs. They gave him the Advil, yeah. Oh no, I got baited in the parry! It sent it out, and I was like, oh, okay, pink, I gotta go hit it. And then, um... It was not something I should have hit. This is what happened when you eat dragon fruit with Cajun, yeah. So I understand the dragon fruit, right? You know, like, why you came with it. What's the with Cajun part? Like, where did that come from? I'll restart. Oh, you just like Cajun food. Okay, it makes sense. No lore, really. Okay. Maybe that's uh, something for your like one of your OCs or something, you know? Maybe... Uh, th like, you know, your OC can explain the lore of the Cajun. Man, I just really run into that every time, huh? Okay, get that second bird. I'm gonna go up to first dodge the egg. Go down below to dodge the egg down here. Nice. No, I was screwed myself. It's a common it take four minutes to do more snow people just fork it, they don't have anything for it. <laughs> yeah. That's like I can understand, you know, combo decks, but I don't understand like how does it take four minutes? A great slam and then some. And begin. Like what what like you know makes it take that long? Okay, why am I resetting so early on? No, the reason why I'm resetting so early on is so I can actually get through the last phase, because I can always take so much damage in third phase. And I can I can easily do first phase without taking damage. If I'm actually playing properly. Lots of tutoring and special summoning, okay. Oh, I backed up into it. It would have been fine. I have to, because I have a specific place where I like to um, dodge, right? And if I... And the reason why I didn't dodge it was because I was so locked into dodging in that, like, specific area. But if I, you know, purposely kind of anticipated, like, oh yeah, wait, there's another place I could have dodged, it would have been fine. Oh, I don't think I hit that there. Oh, there it goes. Second phase, right as I was going to, right as I was going to do the attack. Okay, get the bomb off and then just back up because I need to have as much space as possible. Maybe I can get a parry off here. Yeah, nice. Let's go. Okay, that's easy. Bombs, yeah. Who doesn't love those, right? Oh, you're going to be hearing that soon, hopefully. As long as I make it through phase three here, which I did not. So you are not hearing it soon. Thought I had something to beat them, turns out I didn't, so you just wasted four minutes. Oh, okay, so you should have just, uh, like, forfeit is what you're saying, like, while he was playing his thing. Or while, uh, 
Yeah, while they were playing their, their deck. Cherry bombs. Those are like uh, fireworks and stuff, right? What exactly are cherry bombs? Or I guess a type of firework? I'm not really too sure. The deck might be because it's someone card, you know what the deck there definitely isn't is she there? Okay. Oh, you're referencing the song. Okay. Okay. Oh, but you, you did have a counter in your deck, but you just couldn't, uh, you just didn't draw it. Okay, there we go. Now I have 2 HP again here. Okay, now I want to move in whenever I can. Or, no, never mind, I don't have to. How did that not hit me there? That was just like right in the uh, the corner. That was so close. Please tell me you're dead soon. Yo, Bogan. Okay. We just have last uh, this. Yeah, still on verb, yeah. It's gonna be a couple days, probably, before I, like, actually finish. Because I'm trying to perfect it, so it'll be... I have to beat it on Expert, and then I can finally start going into, uh... Doing it... Um... Like, S-Rank. But I also didn't play the bird the entire day today. I was, uh... I was doing the run and gun at first. So I've only been doing the bird for like maybe 20 minutes, I think. Uh, today at least. Oh, that grind, yeah. yeah true, I got you guys. Oh yeah, uh... Dragon Fruit, what do you use to get those like, uh... Um, emojis, since you're able to, like the text, or e emotes, like... Um, since you're able to, like, use them pretty quickly, do you just have them saved somewhere, or what do you use to, like, like, do you copy-paste them across? How do you, how do you get them so quickly? Because, I mean, it's not like, like, a lot of the stuff aren't on, oh, they came with your phone, oh, okay, okay. I would like to use another missile here. That's the perfect time to use it, I believe. Nice, good. How long does it take to kill this thing? There we go. Sometimes you make him like this, okay. Okay, pill is gonna come up here. No, the heart. Okay, well, I don't think I would have done it perfect, but it would have been nice if I somehow could have. Oh yeah, it's throwing up here? Need to make sure I'm hitting- there we go, knockout. It took me 3 HP though to do the entire last phase. Um, so that's rough, because I went through everything else perfectly. This last phase is, uh... I mean, I guess I do have the least amount of practice on the last phase, so... It's gonna take me a while, but... I think... But this one does seem easier. Um... I'm, I'm starting to understand third phase more, and as I understand third phase more, it means more time on last phase, so... Yeah.
Here's a real high class bout. And begin. <laughs> Oh, wait, they say you said they came said they came with your phone. So um, does the uh, because I know the Japanese keyboard on the phone like has uh, that stuff. Um, but uh, was it like? Cause, but I didn't know you know like other keyboards had it as well. Haha. <laughs> Okay, I can blow that up there. Nice. Squeeze my way through there. We all have silly emotes. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You know, I'm, I'm doing them in real life as well. You guys just can't see it. Look, like, here, I'll do a face. What do you guys think I just did there? Okay, I'm gonna use my missile. Okay, there it goes. Lenny oh, face. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. I if if I if I was able to do that while playing, I would have actually been the greatest gamer of all time. Greatest cuphead player. I just got I just yeah. A great slam and then stop. Now go! I did like... A Lenny face, but it was like with my mouth open instead of like, uh... Just... Closed. <laughs> and like, I did not do a smile like that. This match will get red hot. I still remember one time... Um, I don't know why I remember this, but I did. It was like for a class, um, and there was this one guy who, uh, came to, like, you know, who was new to our school. And then, like, you know, uh, I had him in class, and then we spent, like, one class just spamming Lenny faces on a dock, just over and over again. And then by the end, we had, like, a 90-page dock before, like, it started to lag, uh, lag out. And it was just, like, all of it just Lenny faces. Like if you just scroll down and it would it would yeah, you would like crash the chrome. Dad said he liked drawing. Nice. This is high school? Yes, I think it was high school. Either high school or end of middle school, I can't remember. Oh yeah, uh it was um yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> That's awesome. I wouldn't call it awesome. It's definitely something. Who is it? Um, it's not gonna be who you're thinking of, but it was Riot. But, but like, not not the one that like you know that was with us because he came later. It was like a different name. I think he was only there for one year, so I don't know if you remember him. Here's a real high class bout. Now go. No clue, only remember the other one. Yeah, okay. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. Oh yeah, uh, what was the drawing that your uh, dad said he looked like? Was it the was it the um the OC sheets? A great slam and then stop. Or, or something else. Where do you usually do your drawings? On uh, on the like uh like, online? Like, you know, not online, but, uh, do you use a program, or do you do it all, like, you know, um, on paper? The profile of your OC? Okay, cool. <laughs> Twitch didn't know what me. <laughs> Both mostly digital, okay. <laughs> How was your day then, Surplus? You didn't miss much of the surplus, all you missed was me, uh, beating a running gun. That's really it. 
Um, oh yeah, and I also beat the bird like once, but I literally just did that like two things ago. Two brothers were partying in town. Oh, cool! What do you guys do? Wait, your birthday is, uh... Very close to, um... To your brothers. That's if I care at the game on Shea. True, true. Your birthday again, surplus? Ah, oh, I got hit by all the eggs. A great slam and then some. It's on. I just when you said that's awesome, Jigsaw, and put that uh thing. I don't even know what that was. It's like it has arms and a mouth, but no eyes. 25th, so birthdays are nine days of Yeah, okay. Pretty funny, uh... Or, like... I guess you guys... I mean, I really shouldn't be saying anything. My brother and... Or, like, my brother and my birthday are, like, eight days apart. So I really shouldn't be saying anything. Like, I'm talking about you like, oh, wow, yeah, that's so unique. When it's literally the exact same thing for me. HP is uh, still good, but I will probably, like, actually the only way I could do this final phase is if I get through um, third phase with only taking one hit, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hit, like, at least twice in the final phase. So, well, yeah, that's my only hit I can get, I guess. Aside from the fact Twitch didn't notify you. Yeah, Twitch Twitch moment, I guess. Unlucky. I messed up. Hey, come on. That's two explosions I- or two missiles I did on the child, right? I exploded the child twice. Okay. There it goes. I was notify you besides today. He's just unlucky, I guess. Oh, I should have gone down. A great slam and then some. <laughs> from Bezos. True. First phase done. I think I've definitely gotten much better at first phase, so... It's literally just third and fourth phase now, because second phase I've always just been able to do. The only time second phase really screws with me is when you see stuff like that happens, where I have I wasn't able to kill the birds here. And it's, uh, I think I actually just need to focus on killing the birds in second phase. I agree, I really like that emote. I find it so funny when, like, you know, you're in different events, and you just see that emote getting spammed. Um, like, you know, when the music's playing. I, I really like it. It's really cute. I play with controller. Because, for, like, no, the only reason, uh, being, I can, uh, lean back in my chair. 
and then like, because I, I don't sit like a normal person when I play stuff. Or just like, yeah, I just don't sit like a normal person. So when I play, both my uh, like legs are on my chair. Um, like, I, like, none of my, my feet are not touching the ground. They're both like, tucked, my legs are tucked in, and I'm sitting on my chair like that right now. And then like, I'm kind of like, you know, my arm is around both my knees holding the controller on the left side, and then the other one is just, like, you know, holding the controller on the right side, like normal. Good day for yeah, you remember playing Smash, yeah. So, I don't know, I really like... Just leaning back in my chair and just, uh, not care. If I could do that with every game, I would gladly do that, but, uh, I can't. So, any game where I can do it, I will take it where I can. Especially since I learned, because I never had a controller before. Um, and, like, or I never had, like, an Xbox or PS4 controller, because I never had those consoles. But when I got my Switch, and I got the Pro Controller, that's when I... Uh, you know, tried to start finally using controllers in games. And I really, it took me a long time to figure it out because for some reason the Pro Controller is just harder to work, or like, get to work in, on Steam than the, uh, Xbox or PS4 controllers, but, um, I eventually did get it to work. And any game where I can't use controller, I try to. Because it just feels very comfortable. If there was a way to, like, lean back in my chair and use keyboard and like and mouse in a comfortable way i probably would do that um what there isn't from what i know sometimes i end up doing it for like certain games um like i think for chemtem i did it for for that because it's like i there's you know this literally pokemon uh so i can kind of just lean back and do whatever um because uh, I didn't, because uh, there's so many menus in that game as well. Uh, it's very hard to try and. What am I saying? It, it was very hard to navigate them, so that's why I used keyboard for that. But generally. Most games I have to use. Wow, I don't know how I managed to dodge that. I have to use the keyboard. There's Beppy behind you. Oh no. Beppy, no! No! No, that bit. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that token? I don't. See, I mean, it doesn't show anything on my screen. I just see a blank thing. What's that? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Maka <laughs> W. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't see it on my side for some reason. It's just, I just see a blank thing. No, it's me, guys. It's me. It's obviously me. What are you talking about? I'm the real, uh, Dele Fan Anu. Like, it's obviously me, don't, don't you hear? Oh, I got hit there. Here's a real high-class bout. And we <laughs> What do you mean, uh-oh? 
a completely normal person. <laughs> the lore, the most, uh, uh, jigsaw, you know, this is like, has nothing to do with anything, but Beppy is the most, uh, like, you know, scariest character in fiction, right? Like, or the scariest clown in fiction. That is like the truth, right? There's nothing about that, just, just wondering. Most powerful clown in fiction as well. You know, all those titles. Oh no, it's the it's uh, the clown from this game. True? Okay. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, I got hit there, seriously? Like that? Oh, I think it's always when it transitions to this phase. That's when it, like, plays the... Um... I was, is it Flight or Ride of the Valkyries? It's one of the two. So I guess I like phase three for that music shift. Have we beat we have not beaten the dragon yet. The dragon is what I'm saving for last in this world. Because that is going to be very painful to do. I am the thing is, I actually thought the dragon was easy when it comes to the first two phases. The third phase increases difficulty like three or four times. Like it, it's like, or sorry, it's a three to four times spike in difficulty. What vampires did you beat? Oh, I backed up. I shouldn't have backed up there. <laughs> okay, Jigsaw. A great slam and then stop. It's on. Oh, you're doing another Balthazar game. Oh, okay, let's go. No way. Holy. What'd you do differently? I backed up. Ambush! Oh, okay, makes sense. It just walked into you. Yeah, that, that would make sense how it uh, became much easier. You ambush it with your entire army? With both armies, okay. Makes sense then. Okay, I can run in. Would you say that uh, jigsaw in reference to? Oh, I that somehow that feather didn't uh, hit me, which I will take. Oh, maybe I can use my like. EX like that, right? So I can just clear the line of birds? But no, I don't know. I'm not sure. I couldn't parry that. I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> War armor. I ran into the... What is the thing's name? Because this... The... Bird's, like... Like, you know, the normal bird is, like, Wally's name, right? Like, or, like, Wally was his name. Is his name. Um... What is the child's name? The baby bird. Wallbird. <laughs> I like that. You know what? That's canon now. Wallbird is the name. Okay, how's it splitting there? Okay, that's fine. Okay, I can dodge the hearts. Nice. 
Okay, I think this is so far the best. I think, yeah, I was gonna get hit there because I messed up where I placed myself and I wasn't ready for that bird to come. But as long as I just keep in mind when each bird is sort of, like spitting up the pill, I should be able to be fine. I, I, I think it is funny as well. I don't know why. The sound is just so perfect. The child, yeah, no, I like that. Walbert, I like that. It is canon now. Even if it's not like the actual name. Oh wait, is it actually the name Walbert? Because if it is, I really like that name. Surely that'll help, yep. Good day for a swell battle. Now go. <laughs> Even if I'm a miner. Here's a real high class. <laughs> Pokemon? Question mark? Hey yo? We're gonna have to have a little talk here, Brogan. I think it's canon, but I, I do like Walbert. Yeah, no. That's what I was wondering, because, like, um, uh, if, if you, if, like, it wasn't canon, it should be canon. But, yeah. Wally and Walbert Walbert Wal That's a punk twister. Right? I'm not I can't just be that stupid. That has to be a tongue twist tongue twister, right? No, I think I'm just stupid. Yeah, I, th I think that I think we just figured it out. Okay. Charge into the bird. There we go. Don't make yourself talk. Yourself. Sorry, that is a habit that is very hard to break for me. It's like the best way of how I self cope with myself. It's like I'm always afraid of having an ego, so my way, my way of keeping my ego in check is to come, like always uh, talk down to myself and stuff like that. Yeah. It has always, uh, worked like that, for me. Okay, there, that bird goes, ant eater eating ant, an ant eater eating ant eater, okay. <laughs> okay, so other bird's gonna throw up, now this bird's gonna throw up, and then that bird, and then this heart. Oh, that pill did not fly in a way I thought it was gonna go. Let's swap the rockets since we're good for now. Okay, let me missile here. Cool. And parry that. I've already taken one HP though, and two HP, so. That is not it. This house looks so... I always am looking at that. I don't know, I think it's um... It does not look like a regular bird's talons. It looks like much uh... Like a softer, how do you say, 
Like, because it's not skin, it's material's not the right word. But it doesn't look like it's regular, you know, bird talons, how it looks like a stick. You know, it, like, looks softer than that. I'm not sure if that's the correct word to be using it, but... No! Ah, uh, ripping off nails seems like... That's always something that physically makes me, like... I don't know, like... What would be the thing, like... Like, I, I rip my hand, you know, anytime I think of, like, my nails getting ripped off. It's stuff like that, you know, it, like, makes me physically recoil. Would you want- uh, sure, okay, what's the... What's the video you would like to watch? You're gonna die, fine. No, I think you need to be, uh, you need to, I don't know, wrap it in, like, bandage, bandage your entire arm, put it in a cast, like, put it on, I don't know, everything to keep it, you know, you're, you're going to, you're going to collapse if you do not deal with the broken nail. An interesting video, sure, I mean, I, I, we can watch the video after. I think it was just glue, okay. Nice. I mean, yeah, I would be as well. Cause yeah, it would be weird for like I feel like a fake nail to come up with a j or like your real nail to come up with just like you know taking out the fake nail. That seems like it would not be held on there properly. The real like nail. Okay, I'm just getting hit. You know what? We're just gonna get to fourth phase one more time, and then I think I will be done with Cuphead for today. <laughs> Lenny face. I think I can get to fourth phase, right? Surely. Actually, no. You know what? How about just third phase? Because fourth phase, I could be here for the next like 30 minutes and not get into fourth phase. So, uh, let's just say third phase. Up, down. Use my missile. I think that should hit. I did not, like, even come close to hitting. Oh, he's too badly in Quaver. So then can't. You know, your priorities. Set your priorities. You know, Quaver greater than uh, anything. Like, why wear fake nails when you can be, like, the absolute god at Quaver, right? I think that is a completely fine statement. Okay, well, I made it to third phase, so... That'll be it for me. I think I should be able to blow up there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Okay. I think I will be done here. Gonna hit 2,300 soon? Let's go! I, uh... You might need to explain more on <laughs> where it is. Because... <laughs> I know that's higher. I can't remember exactly where it falls, though. Okay, so we're done with Cuphead for today, so... Um... We're not watching this. Global rank about 50, holy! Okay. You know, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna put this. Wow, wow, yeah, really cool.
What about another? I mean, sure, yeah. No, you're gonna put... Okay, it cannot be by Samir Bhavnani. Okay, how about that? <laughs> okay, you can put any video, but it can't be by that guy. <laughs> no, not another one. <laughs> Top 10 normal monsters that would dominate the Blue Eyes White Dragon, according to Flavor Text. Okay. Let me swap to here. Okay, and then we're gonna watch this video. Do things. Often these are things that help you win, like destroying your opponent's back row or flooding your So is Blue monsters, Eyes White Dragon supposed to be like, oh, the quote unquote game, strongest thing in Yu-Gi-Oh, but there are like Normal other stronger things? Let you do one thing, play a monster. They have no effect, and that makes them pretty bad. But they do have flavor text, and this little spice of lore sometimes says other. Yeah, okay. Some normal monsters are holding back godlike powers. The monsters start off this list at, well, number 11 is the familiar face. You probably clicked this video when you saw its thumbnail. This is a powerful dragon, okay. With the awesome wrath of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> this beast Blue Eyes White Dragon looks much cuter than I thought it would. Anime. Like, and, well, it has a massive you know face, I massive know head, is. huge We've eyes, and then a tiny eyes. body. Let's take another look at its description. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible. Very few have I remember seeing awesome some of the cards. The wow, camp. it's so weird seeing some high, of the Yu Gi Oh cards right? with like only is Blue Eyes the strongest such small amount of text. Of text after what you showed last but time, flavor text confirms that it is virtually invincible and eliminates almost all that fall within the path of its fangs. It's like five and alternate artworks. Blue okay, Dragon's resume. This is the only monster on this list to see considerable competitive play in the TCG on account of the oodles of support Konami loves to lavish this dragon with. However, it's the weakest, most powerful creature on this list. Every entry in this list to come next would not only live to tell the tale of clashing with the blue eyes, but would decimate the legendary dragon, like it's cost down at the Buster Blader store, and you're not going to get a main phase too. The first creature to top the blue eyes by dragon okay. number 10 is the confusingly named Fiend Reflection number 1, which is not actually a fiend, but a level 4 wind attribute wing beast with this a one doesn't even look that strong. 1300 attack and 1400 defense. Pay no attention to the 1700 attack deficit against the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, surplus. Let's look we'll at the see description. You. This monster Thanks for stopping can by. draw its enemies into a mirror world that renders them helpless. From villages to knights to Hope you have a good planets, night. dragons are famous destroyers, but also ill-equipped to escape a nefarious mirror world. Taking the flavor text quite literally. Okay. That's actually absurdly powerful. There's a long legacy of powerful mirror-related cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, and even an entire archetype exploring the liminal world of mirrors and dreams. But Fiend Reflection number one is often tragically overlooked. At least Fiend Reflection number one has stronger stats than its companion card, Fiend Reflection number two. Another puzzling level four winged beast with a light attribute and 200 less attack. A bird beast that summons reinforcements with a hand mirror. Let Fiend Reflection number one prove that it's way stronger to trap things in a mirror than to pull them out. For whatever that's worth. Interestingly, okay. this card was never released in the TCG, even though Fiend Reflect number 2 debuted in the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon set, which was one of the first packs. You can acquire it as a normal from Legacy Packs of Master Duel, though, which is nice. Eclipsing Fiend Reflection number 1 and the Blue Eyes White Dragon to grace us with her presence in number 9 spot is Maiden of Just track him, okay. A level 4 light fairy. Sorcerer blessed by Lunar Light with far going beyond packs. mortal comprehension. She's a sorcerer blessed by Lunar Light with powers. Oh, thank you, the Tryhard Gamers 21, for the follow. Appreciate it. And if Kaiba's favorite dragon steps to her, it'll need a mostly dead zombie retrain like its weaker Red Eyes cousin. And no, Blue Eyed Silver is Thank you for catch. supporting the channel. What's critical to the analysis here is Blue Eyes' obvious strength. I don't sure, think this is Cuphead. Yeah, I've actually done with uh, Cuphead for today. And um, we already said it, Blue Eyes is I was obvious. just watching a video Mortals before I end stream. Awesome rap. You know what's far beyond um, comprehension? Exactly. So apologies for that. Of Maiden of the Moonlight. And that's not the but only if you, uh, you know, are looking for... She's Cuphead, I will be live tomorrow with it. With um, but yeah, if you're only here for Cuphead, um, not because her English edition was only not um, tournament pack two. Not gonna be playing so anymore today. Her attack isn't quite as high as her description would imply, but she makes up for that with dollar signs. The forecast for this list is looking a little cloudy, but don't worry, that's not a cause for concern. Just a segue until our number eight spot, Ray and Temperature. 
This level 3 light fairy with only a thousand attack and defense is very literally a force of nature. Its flavor text confirms the sun and the north wind join hands to deliver yeah. a devastating combination of heat and gale. Wait, this, threats. um, since the dawn of recorded history, ray and temperature, what is it? A Looks like the, for the power I can't the remember the, like, storms. fable, Many where it was like the, the guy, and we're not like the sun the and the rock. Wind, like, world. wanted to have a competition, sun god, rain and then it was the like sun. the wind That's tribe blowing real. all its might, like, to take the guy's coat real. off. The Whereas the sun the just like you know shone brighter, I, I don't know what the just as the sources of all um, monstrous spirits from other dimensions to square off in shadow games. Perhaps really message of it was, but I remember there was the something like that. Went from our world into theirs to do their bidding. Just the sun would be more powerful than a blue eyes white dragon. Just the north wind. This is both, and there's still only number eight in our list. So buckle up or don't. We've already moved beyond the sun in any map now, dredging the deep corners of dual monster lore where light doesn't reach. Now, if that sounds vague and conceptual, bad news. The vague space halfway between worlds, between is and isn't, is precisely where we're headed. It moves through lands of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. Crossing over into number seven, Mystery Hand. If you believe it's text, which for the purposes of the list... It's just a hand, that's pretty funny. The Mystery Hand twists reality and reaches between dimensions to attack its enemies. <laughs> the hand, it yeah. translates into a monumentally disappointing... 500 attack and defense on paper, or cardstock rather. We do have to talk about the mystery hand because the description goes crazy. Not even halfway down the list and we're shattering reality. It's only level 2 Dark Fiend, but Right Arm of the Forbidden One is only level 1, and has even less attack and defense. Does this mean that the body of the mystery hand fully assembled is more powerful than Exodia? It's a very good question, and one that technically cannot be answered. Because for some reason, Konami somehow forgot to print a full mystery hand archetype. What we can say without a doubt is that this enigmatic appendage alone is more than enough to ruin the normal monster with the most attack points, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is just a dragon. Actually, this monster is so mysterious that it doesn't exist in the TCG. Over two decades ago, it was obtainable exclusively as a common in the OCG Starter Box 1, like fellow Blue Eyes White Dragon Destroyer, Fiend Reflection Number 1, an official copy of Mystery Hand remains elusive to TCG players. However, like the Mystery Hand, if one reaches into a different dimension, in this case, the virtual Yeah, I guess it literally is a mystery, yeah. Looking for. That's a very convoluted way of explaining that the Mystery Hand, despite its absence from the TCG, has an impressive resume Recent of video beyond games. Beyond dimensions to attack its enemies. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 2, Dark Duel Stories. I, like, this is the first time like actually reading a thing because I was just listening Duel the entire Stories. time, but... Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 4, Battle Great Duelist. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 5, Expert 1, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duels of the Roses, I wonder, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Duel Monsters 6, Expert 2, why it just its hand part, is reaching World through, World where is it the, Duel, the rest? Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship um, 2004, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, Yu-Gi-Oh! Max sure. Duel, and finally, most interestingly and confusing of all, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam, a web game commissioned by Konami and played mostly on Facebook. This game featured familiar monsters of different texts, stats, and effects that so one agree, might recognize. Disagree with this one because all it does is have a lot of range. Okay. To comprehend the multiverse twisting implications. Is that my mouse? Oh no, okay, that's his mouse. <laughs> it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam Thought it was my has mouse one there. Less level, a hundred less attack, and only four hundred life. Plus, an aptly categorized sorrow effect causing the mystery hands player to take damage upon its destruction. Still, it's I was like, why is my mouse like on the screen there? Abilities of the mystery hand in action. What's more powerful than a traveler between worlds? Well, the remaining monsters on this list for one, but specifically, it's time to talk about a limited series of transdimensional normal monsters of immense strength, the denizens of another verse. Another verse dragon and another verse glutonia constitute a significant power jump in this list to further creep Kaiba's favorite dragon out of existence. Glutonia is a level 8 dark fiend with 2500 defense and 2000 defense and a name that's a nod to gluttony, the deadly sin of greed and excess. By its charmingly alliterative context, that card looks cool. another verse of Glutonia is a massive, malevolent monstrosity. I really like that, like how that lo- the design of that. molds multiple domains where only the mightiest dare dwell. It has many dimensions and gluttonously hungers for more, but it's not the only another verse monster. It's a tournament winner card. Dragon oh, is a level okay. Eight light dragon that also has 2,500 attack and 2,000 defense. As in, like, wait, this you can only get it for winning a tournament, many or but can only it's be like seen you by win time. a tournament. And, flavor taxes to be believed, the champion and got that card, or like you. Not to the cards by winning the tournament, you got that card like only after you or something. Okay. Year would originally receive the card. An argument could be made in either direction for one another verse. You have to win a another, tournament to get it. But that's not a particular. Wow, so like very rare, like it's a and small anyway, amount of people in the world have it. So it's like come, only so one of them exists. 
Another huh. reason to keep the Nidoverse together is the fact that both of these TCG originals never saw widespread release. That's because oh, they yeah. were distributed as Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series prize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Would you look at that? For 2022, oh, 2022, that Goblin recent. Goblin Spotlight 2023 prize. The decision to use normal monsters as prize cards marks a departure these from... These two devoured dimensions. I mean, it looks like it. Cards, like I get the Perfect dragon look like it, but the other one below did. Born an even number 89 Diabolus the Mind Hacker, which is currently banned in the TCG. This decision was probably to avoid the issue of locking potentially meta-defining cards in a limited release, usable only by those few lucky enough to win, or by paying the exorbitant cost of procuring such a rare card. Unfortunately, we can't all be Sento Kaiba, but actually, it kinda sucks to be him too, because his ace blue eye stands exactly no chance of winning in its own world or any of the others conquered slash devoured by another verse duo. While the attack difference between blue eyes white dragon and the verse is only 500 points, which is closer than some uh, of the other Depends list. how you interpret the dimension, but either way, it's strong. Okay. Extreme. If the mystery hand can ruin a blue eyes by reaching between worlds, how much more powerful are the beings who oversee them? But that's still not enough to beat the next entry on this list. Hado Denchok is a level 2 water attribute aqua monster with 600 attack and 700 defense, and the following flavor text. A rapid starfish that spits a lethal acid that can melt almost anything. Looks like a Very flower, impressive. not even a starfish. We'll ignore the fact that rabies affects exclusively mammals. Looks like a flower that blooms in the water or something. Phylum, because Hido Denchok is not the number 5 enter in this list. It was almost strong enough, but melting almost anything doesn't cut it especially when you consider the vastly superior Acid Crawler, which is the number five spot on this list. A giant Sorry, caterpillar that secretes an acid that melts by anything. A caterpillar with slightly better stats. Anyway, Acid Crawler is a level three earth insect with a whopping 900 attack and 700 defense. Not anything to write the thing about, is, like, despite its less than stellar even attack, though the anyone foolish enough to fight acid, acid crawler, like, you know, can melt anything, again, we'll never go how would it even, how would the dragon even get close enough to be melted by the acid? The lord describes it as a giant caterpillar that secretes an acid. I guess it's a giant caterpillar, but how anything. big is giant? Not almost anything. These are definitely anything. a stretch, okay. Are you a thing? Meltable. You exist? Meltable. Another verse Glutonia might have devoured several worlds, but none that contain the acid crawler, because Glutonia is a thing. A grand thing, cosmic in scale, but a thing and therefore meltable. You know what else melts? Okay, Silly I feel like that is the biggest stretch I've ever heard of. A sinister, creepy crawly <laughs> that, that was never released like, in the TCG. That is crazy. A that is a dwarves. crazy stretch. You can only assume that the acid crawler was never printed to shield the larger world from a creature that cannot be stopped, cannot be contained, has less than a thousand attack, but according to its flavor text, it's <laughs> anything. anything. <laughs> Well, almost anything, the monsters we've yet to cover in this list enjoy extenuating circumstances that give them an edge over the creature that could melt anything. Forget the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Except don't, because we're going to keep dunking on it for four more slots plus an honorable mention. Longtime fans of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime will be familiar with the Millennium Items. Yeah, These another of the dragons are the strongest normal monsters, okay. Terrible power were forged when the Pharaoh and Tim's father massacred an entire village, using his subjects' soul and souls as anima to form tools and mystical power for him, his servants, and his descendants. This is the inciting event for the original Duel Monsters anime, because in time, the soul of the Tem would come to occupy the dissembled Millennium Puzzle, which would pass through ancient histories until it fell into the hands of Yugi Moto. Interestingly, the creation of Millennium Items led to both the destruction of the world and a stay of its execution, as the mad Atlantean sorcerer Darts decided to wait another 5,000 years to enact his apocalyptic plan of summoning the Great Leviathan. <laughs> Look at that jawline, he's definitely been mewing. Because the Thief King Bakura had already called in the evil god Zork in an epic clash with the time-lost forces of Pharaoh Atem. None of that is what this list is about, though, and is only relevant to adequately communicate the unparalleled power of the number four on this list, Sengenjin. This level 8 Earth Beast Warrior monster boasts a whopping 2750 attack and 2500 defense. In addition to carrying multiple Millennium items, which is actually insane... This, and well, this one's the strongest normal, are, okay. Sengajin is an unstoppable savage that carries Millennium items. The implication of this card are actually wow i didn't because i thought this card was like oh okay it's probably like a re weak card like you know by like not you know comparatively by like story or anything but like because you know it doesn't look very uh strong like at all they didn't try to make it look like a majestic being or anything like that but it has 2750 attack and 2500 defense we have a wave of unknown which is pretty high up comparatively to most cards or the actual items carried by Sengenjin are hidden from view Given his gigantic size, it's likely that his green pouch could carry almost any number of items. But anyway, 
can any combination of Millennium items defeat the Blue Eyes White Dragon? The answer is yes, and Sengen Jin could probably stomp the Acid Crawler as well. Like the Mystery Hand, the Millennium items confer into their host the ability to reach dimensions, uh -huh, or okay. even establish their own pocket dimension for the express purpose of setting So is there like, you know, only one of these the reality things the that like game. carry all the, the items? Or are there multiple, are that multiple that carry like, again, you know, different type, like different amounts of items? items. It is able to edit the code on which the world runs. Even, the acid okay. crawler can melt anything, but what is anything in a shadow game? All is shadow. See, why does he keep bringing up this acid crawler? This is the, the acid crawler is just so dumb. Crunch. While the millennium items are alluded to in their imagery of a card lore. Originally, Whoa, why did it go? In did it go back? Championship rare, you can, is really struggling. To see I don't know what happened there. Dollars. I'm just gonna stay here. So we've established that the blue eyes white dragon is really struggling. Oh yeah, here. Okay. Incredibly overpowered. I think. So where do we? I go don't from know. Here I don't even know what I hit. List? I was like Supposedly playing with my headset. Than a bearer I don't know how that happened. Two or even more millennium items. Back. We have to go back to the beginning of the universe. To the beginning of everything. Twin-headed Fire Dragon is number three in this list, and so much more powerful than its six levels, 2200 attack, and 1700 defense that it's absurd. But right, going back to the beginning. Many the different characters have one of them. Okay. To describe how the universe expanded from a starting condition of high density and temperature. That's Dude, this is just an abomination. Wikipedia. What What's is this? Is the density, the Two dragons use as one of the effects from the, the Big Bang. The twin-headed Fire Dragon. Two dragons. That's one leg. One from the effects or of two the heads. Big Bang. The implications of this sentence are quite astounding. Two dragons with existence predating the expanded universe were fused at the deepest level by the boom that spawned everything. The shape of twin-headed fire dragon is even reminiscent of an atom, perhaps referencing the molecular nature of its rebirth. Okay, but that's that doesn't mean it's, and it's strong. Attribute. Well, that's the like heat. you could survive an explosion existed, and like still be crippled for your entire life. Like you could have still survived it, this but that does doesn't make you stronger. Acid and so elemental to the fabric of all being that it's questionable what powers a millennium item or items could hold over it. We'll give the edge to the fire dragons that are fused so densely they're a normal monster instead of a fusion. So, what else is more powerful than the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and more importantly, more powerful than the dragon from the beginning of time? We travel through history, organizing, rallying, and unifying to the present. I mean, I get, like it would, but forever. it would like reduce your durability, like existence. Like this if you got like thunder monster can't be melted by acid. Um, I guess yeah. By millennium items, but it's like for example, if you got like hit by a car or something and you survived it, text, that doesn't like that increase your durability or anything. In fact, it, I would say it makes you like more strength greater than susceptible to any further injuries. Thousandfold, and the coming revolution will be huge. I don't know if that a logic works here, but at least that's what I that think of it. Every card your opponent's side of the field and sends every card in their hand to the graveyard. This uniquely nigh game-winning card can only be activated when you have three specific normal monsters on your field: oppressed people, people running about, and united resistance. Together, these three cards tell a story. Yeah, it is. First, with oppressed people. They are oppressed, but believe they will have their freedom someday. Then people run in about. Although they always suffer in silence, they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. The series ends with the United Resistance and the Huge Revolution. Their chronological nature is alluded to further with their levels. Huge the Revolution trap level card. One, people run in about being level <laughs> yeah. two, and finally level oh, three. Oh no, what is resistance. happening here? But why are they stronger than the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Yeah, please and explain. Stronger than Sengenjin and stronger than the Twin Headed Fire Dragon? Because you cannot destroy a unified people with 3,000 attack points. Because you can't send the collective will of a populace into the Shadow Realm, only turn vanquished revolutionaries into There's the no legends. way. Because the That's the logic. Is the future. <laughs> no it way. is a change to push past the future into the past. After all, what force on Earth is weaker than the feeble strength of one? Just like the Eclipse Bell, it is the union that makes us strong. United we stand against the overwhelming forces that would oppress us. And no card mentioned yet can hope to stand against a union attack. Before well, we want to number one spawn this list, so the it really is the friends we made along the way. The blue eyes white dragon. We have to give an honorable mention to everyone's favorite level three earth dino, Mammoth Graveyard. This monster, which despite its typing is not a dinosaur or a rock like a fossil card, or a zombie like other fossil cards, did checkmate the blue eyes ultimate dragon in Yugi's duel against Seto Kaiba on the ramparts of the castle Pegasus. In a controversial move that we're still waiting on Konami's judges to comment on, Yami Yugi used Spell's Living Arrow and Palmerization in succession to fuse his Mammoth Graveyard with the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, causing it to weaken and decay, eventually enough to be defeated by another <laughs> normal monster, Yugi's Celtic Guardian. Only Kaiba's quick and strategic thinking prevented Yugi's finishing blow. 
a feat Sato Kaiba accomplishes by threatening to throw his body from the tower and yeah, the cold hardness to push me off the ravine, you'd have so, won. So technically, Mammoth Graveyard didn't actually clinch the dub against the ultimate Blue Eyes, but it still warrants an honorary position on this list for the hijinks alone. And at number one, what's the highest list, level the monster that, according to lore, beats the Blue Eyes by in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And is therefore, more powerful than any other normal monster, up to and including the unquenchable and intangible spirit of revolution, is Doma, the Angel of Silence. It's a level five. This fairy rules over the end of existence. Defense, and okay. a one sentence card description of eight words. This fairy rules over the end of existence. It doesn't matter. Nothing does. No one ever wins against Doma because Doma is the end and Doma is entropy. If Twin Headed Fire Dragon is the avatar of the universe's first moments and United Resistance is the indomitable restlessness of the present, then Doma is after all that. All things end and Doma is the last thing. With the end of Doma comes the closing of the universe's books. All stories will be complete, and nothing further can be written when there's no pages. The Blue Eyes White Dragon is a destructive force, but destruction Doma has seen. Everything has been deconstructed and taken down. Curtains, you know, yeah, if, the, the clearing if it's of the, the end of existence, why is it that weak of a card? Life, you know, you would expect it to be stronger. And Doma oh, 12, okay. Angel. All right, I that's the list. If you know okay. any other normal monsters... Interesting. Let me swap back to that. Oh, play controller disconnected? No! Okay, well, I guess I'll have to use my keyboard. Oh, Mugman joined. Interesting. Yeah, it was. I think there are some things I disagreed with, but all in all, it was, uh, it was interesting to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, wow. Okay, I'll just be... You know what, here, we'll walk around as Mugman for once. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I have 40 coins. You know what, here, let's, you know what, we're going to end off by buying everything with Mugman. Okay, so that will be uh, it for today, for Cuphead, uh, from me. Um, thank you to anyone who stopped by during the stream. I appreciate it. And I'll be back with more Cuphead uh, tomorrow.